really easy. Sorry, I looked at the video and I saw the mannequin's abs. <laughs> Sorry, cracking up. <laughs> He's been working out. <laughs> Hey guys, I'm Chris. I'm Nils. And we're back into Gearheads. Today we're here to talk to you about our Gore-Tex Pro Kit, the Cardiac, available in both men's and women's for this year. This is our premier pro-level Gore-Tex three-layer membrane kit for skiing and snowboarding in the big mountains. So we have three main kits, our Cottonwoods kit, which is a little bit more of a resort-oriented, snowmobile-oriented, maybe cat skiing or heli skiing kit. It's our burliest kit. This is kind of like that you're moving around, a little bit more form-fitted, a little bit more feature-packed. You have all the pockets you need, all the ventilation you need to move comfortably in the mountains while ski touring and really chasing POW, while still having a great three-layer Gore-Tex membrane to prevent uh, moisture from getting through it, whether you're in the Pacific Northwest or in the Powder Mountains of Utah. Yep. And then we have our more hybrid touring kit, which is a super lightweight, ultra stretchy kit that is new for this year. Let's get into a couple of the features. We can kind of work our way from the top down. I think one of the first notable things with this outfit is that it has a fitted hood that is able to go over a helmet, especially with these backcountry outfits. Sometimes you run into an issue with helmet compatibil compatibility. Along with, you know, the helmet compatible hood for those windy days, or days where you're really out fighting the elements, is also our zippers and our cuffs. They're fleece lined, super comfortable, and you have a, your adjustment points here. So it's kind of everything you need right in this zone, not too tight where it's kind of suffocating. It gives you a little bit of room for uh, a neck gaiter or extra layers under there as well. And then as we talk about zippers, one of the really cool features that I like about this kit is not just the double zippers, you can zip up if you maybe have a, a climbing harness on for uh, repelling into a line. If you're looking to get extra gnarly. But you also have this kind of second zipper that is perforated for ventilation on the up. Say it's a really windy morning, um, but you're moving hard uphill. You also have your vent, your uh, pit vents here, pit zips, but you also have an added layer of ventilation there with kind of your chest opening zip. Yep, just for those situations when you're trying to uh, get as much air in as possible and as much heat out as you can. Next, Nils, tell us about kind of our two main uh, chest pockets here. The chest pockets on these jackets are awesome. I feel like um, with various backcountry jackets I've had over the years, having just the most accessible, straightforward chest pockets comes in so much handy. Now you can see these zippers are really long. And the reason that that's so nice is that you're always just putting the most random things in these pockets. It's gloves, it's goggles, it's a walkie-talkie, it's a you know, maybe you need to, whatever, put your extra beanie away for just a second. Um, having the, the space and the central location of these zippers is just really useful to have on a jacket. Getting into the zipper, what's nice is that on this side, there is a sub zipper um, and a sub pocket with a bit of this stretchy mesh lining. Now that's really nice if you're trying to keep something like, uh, you know, essential items like a cliff bar in place. And then also there is a nice little goggle wipe. This extra space down here expands when needed, um, but sits nice and flush to the body and gives a cool design. Just on this other side, there's another zipper that gives you access to the inside of the jacket and um, one of the inside pockets that the jacket has. Now, if we go to the other chest pocket features, there are internal chest pockets, one on each side. And again, these are super nice to have for all your random knickknacks. I put goggles and gloves in mine almost daily. And just especially when you're on the move or if you need to stop and you're digging a snow pit or something like that, it's always nice to have somewhere quick and easy to put some, uh, some extra items. So moving down into our lower pockets, they both have these internal elastic pockets uh, that are nice for keeping smaller items like maybe a pair of sunglasses, a set of car keys. This is really a feature full jacket that you can kind of use modularly. I find myself kind of like by the end of the season with a jacket really having a place for everything. And this allows you to do that with ease. One thing is Nils mentioned when we're out filming in the backcountry a lot, we're using radios. So whether you have a radio, an iPhone, um, easy access to your transceiver with the super usable zippers. Um, this jacket's kind of there for you for everything you need. Totally. This pass pocket, obviously you have your little Gore-Tex Pro label here. You've got your awesome pass pocket. 
Makes it easy for when you're getting onto the lift. And when I'm out in the backcountry and you don't need a pass, it's also a convenient place for a snack. And then also we have these oversized pit vents over here. You need to be able to dump that heat so your under layers don't get sweaty and get compromised for the day. Totally. New for this year, in the powder skirt has been built in, so it's non-removable. However, it is also much slimmer than previous versions. You don't have to be dealing with the, the clips and everything in the front. So you notice it less, but it also still does a great job. Yeah, it's sleek and super grippy, so you're not getting pow up into your jacket if you hit a bomb hole. Yeah, fall, which I would never do. No. Also, this jacket comes with RECO Advanced Rescue Technology. Um, this is an added safety measure when you are in avalanche terrain. It has become a bit of an industry standard. And uh, yeah, this jacket does not fall short in meeting those requirements. Well, Nils, tell us about these cardiac bibs. First thing about the bibs that I like is how malleable and low profile these straps are. These things are super easy to adjust. Whether you need a little more space or you're trying to cinch them up, it's just kind of a quick and easy system to use. Um, they don't really bunch up and get bulky when you're carrying things like backpacks and all that stuff. There are more pockets. There are two chest pockets, one of which you'll see is this zipper pocket, which is kind of just a small auxiliary pocket, good for storing smaller items again. That might be your cell phone, just like a pass or a credit card or something like that. Now on this left side, there is a larger mesh pocket that wraps around a good portion of the bibs. What's cool about this model is that they uh, recently added a Velcro tab in here. This is something that I was actually sewing into bibs earlier on and it was just so that, you know, things like my gloves wouldn't fly out or my cell phone. So now it's really cool that um, in a much sleeker manner, this Velcro is here and it allows you to put some of your goodies in there and nothing is really going to fly out. One of my favorite things to use this pocket for is quick hot laps on the skin track. I'll roll up my skins or fold up my skins and put them right there. Um, that way they're easy access and I'm not kind of fumbling with them, throwing them in and out of my backpack every lap. As we move down the kit, uh, after the pockets here, you've got your main front zipper. This allows for easy access to kind of put on the, the bibs, over layers, maybe even fumbling with gloves, uh, super big zipper tabs on everything here um, that are kind of new and updated for this year, same on the jacket. So it just allows you easy access to get the bibs on and off. So moving on, we have two lower pockets here. These are kind of thigh pockets that are great for you know throwing a ski pass in uh, to kind of bump the gate there or anything else you might need when your jacket is off and you're kind of just touring in a mid layer with your bibs on over it. Totally, and something notable about these pockets as well is that they also come with uh, an internal sleeve. So if it's something like your, your cell phone or maybe another electronic device or something that you don't want flopping around in your pocket, it's just another measure to make sure it stays flush against your skin and uh, allows you to have a better day out there. As we mentioned earlier, venting is a priority for our kits. These kits are really made to move in the mountains and keep you ventilated at the same time. So we have another side vent here that's also pretty easy for, you know, if you, if you unzip this, it's gonna make it easier to get in and out of them as well. Or if you need to kind of like adjust a layer underneath, also have easy access to that, whether you're wearing like, I know our Wolverine Cirque three quarter insulated pant is an awesome example. Mm -hmm. um, making sure those are kind of like lined up when you're all kitted up. We also have two main vents on the inside of the legs while you're touring uphill. The uh, final feature on these bibs is that they come standard like all other backcountry outdoor pieces with reinforced cuffs. And these things are really nice because your, your ski boots and your snowboard boots are always brushing against one another, especially if you're on the skin track and it just really helps increase the longevity and reduce wear and tear. Awesome, Nils. Well, now that we've gone through all the features on this kit, who is this kit for? Anybody looking to have a dependable, reliable backcountry outfit. If you're finding yourself doing a lot of ski touring, if you're doing a lot of split boarding, I would highly consider something like this. It's really well versed. I mean, obviously you can ride it at a ski resort on a powder day, as you can with all outerwear, but where this one stands apart is that there is some really backcountry friendly focused features. I call this our 50-50 kit. If you're riding in the backcountry as much as you're riding in bounds, this is the kit for you. It's the Gore-Tex Pro membrane, breathable, wickable, but also super waterproof and windproof for those resort days. I find that it layers really well. I run a little bit warmer, so I'm typically rocking a base layer and then a lightweight mid-fleece kind of mid-layer. My partner wears a puffy underneath it and it just kind of like 
adds to that warmth of it. Um, it gives you a little bit of an oversized fit so you mm -hmm. can layer underneath it, but isn't as baggy or square fit as kind of our Cottonwoods kit. So it's kind of that, I want to invest into one kit. I'm touring, I'm in the resort, you know, I'm doing it all, what do I need? Go Cardiac. This is available in men's and women's um, and is a great option for you this winter. Awesome. And if you have any questions, make sure to just hit us up in the comments below or reach out to your local gearhead. If you want to see any more of these videos, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. We're launching a grip of videos this season, talking top skis, top boards, top equipment, and avalanche safety for the year. Stay tuned in for those, and we'll see you guys on the slopes. Super stoked for this winter, and uh, pray for snow. You. Cheers.